U.S. President Barack Obama and Chinese President Hu Jintao met on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Los Cabos in Mexico. President Obama has used the summit to push China and Russia to support stronger U.N. action against Syria. The G20 summit over, time for Mexico's Los Cabos beach resorts to get back to normal. Who would have thought this had been the setting for two days of intense discussions on how to prop up the global economy? At his final press conference, the host, President Calderon, was upbeat. Leaders had recognized the urgent need to come together, he said, to turn around the global slowdown. But it was the Eurozone crisis that dominated in G20 sessions. EU leaders were pressed hard on how they'd help weaker members and shore up the zone through more integration. One option in the offing is to use Eurozone bailout funds to help drive down the cost of borrowing in Spain and Italy. Significant if it happens, a step towards shared euro bonds, the official said it was still under discussion. David Cameron, from his vantage point inside the talks but outside the Eurozone, also gave a positive assessment. What I've sensed at this summit is that there is a fresh impetus uh, with the Eurozone members in terms of using all the mechanisms, institutions and firepower that they have uh, to stand up and support uh, their currency. And I think that is very important in terms of trying to deal with the uncertainty that there is in um, financial markets. Eugen Tao and Vladimir Putin have opposed calls for Bashar al-Assad's ouster. But Obama says they all agree that the situation in Syria is very dangerous. We had a very ca candid conversation. I wouldn't s suggest that uh, at this point the United States and the rest of the international community are aligned with uh, Russia and China uh, in their positions. But I do think they recognize the grave dangers of all-out civil war. We believe that no one has the right to decide for other nations who to bring to power and who to oust from power. EU leaders are slowly moving towards integrating banking sectors while their world partners want a quicker paced pooling of economic sovereignty and support from the European Central Bank for struggling members. France is being seen as tinkering about the edges with a controversial banking tax. I'm hopeful that thanks to a reinforced cooperation with certain countries, we will launch attacks on financial transactions quickly. And when I say quickly, I mean 2013. As G20 leaders prepared to return home, the message presented was one of work in progress. All eyes now turn to next week's European Council meeting in Brussels, where an action plan is expected.